approach control. Here we have a train with three automatic signals and AWS magnets for each. And here we have five possible um, routes. And again, we have an AWS magnet, but at the moment, no signal. So we're going to set up route control. Oh, sorry, approach control, I mean. We're going to use a four aspect bulb, four aspect. Uh, we need a 5T because we have five possible destinations and we're going for a 1, 2, 4, 5. We click on the left, place the zero link adjacent to the signal, and then we place link 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Sometimes the signal does jump around as you're placing the links, just drag it back to the correct location. As we're setting up the route indicators, the junction indicators, we need to put the uh, appropriate feather numbers in here. And we're going to give this signal a name. Okay, so we're going to demonstrate um, four um, types of approach control. The left hand line will have the slowest, then we'll have slow to medium. Straight ahead we're not going to configure. This right, first right hand line will have a medium and then we're going to have high speed. If you put in a speed in the speed box of less than 35, so 34 or less, so less than 35, then you will have approach from red and this signal will clear to a less restrictive aspect if it can when you pass its AWS magnet. So we're going to put 20 in as I say less than 35. For low to medium speed junctions you can have approach from red but the signal will clear to a less restrictive aspect which is a maximum of a double yellow so it won't go to green it will go to a maximum of double yellow when you pass the previous signal. When you reach this signal's AWS magnet then if possible it will clear to green. So it's a two-stage release double yellow at the previous signal, green at this signal's AWS magnet. To enable that you need to choose a value between 35 and 55. And you can put 40 in there. Then we have medium speed junctions. In this situation this signal will be held at a single yellow. The signal will clear to a less restrictive aspect where possible when you pass the preceding signal. To do that all we need to do is a tick in this column here, the limited aspect. Finally, we have approach control for high speed junctions using flashing aspects. The signal here, this signal will clear to a less restrictive aspect when you pass the previous signal if it can. To do that, you just need to put a tick in the appropriate box for approach control. And that's it, this signal is configured for approach control. So this demonstrates approach control for low speed aspect. The signal at the far end is being held at red and it will clear to a less restrictive aspect when we reach the magnet for that signal. Here the train reaches the magnet, any second now. And as you can see, the signal has cleared to green upon the train reaching the magnet. We now have low to medium speed, so again, approach control from red. As you can see, it's being held at red. The signal will clear to a less respective aspect initially at the preceding signal, a maximum of double yellow, and then when it hits the magnet for the junction signal, it will clear to green where possible.
So we'll clear to double yellow upon reaching the preceding signal as you can see with the root indicator set. We'll clear to green when it can as it hits the magnet. There you go. Now approach control for medium speed junctions. The junction signal is held at single yellow and will clear to less destructive aspect when it passes the magnet for that signal. Approaching the magnet, as it hits it, it will clear to a green in this situation. There we go. Here we have approach control with flashing yellows. This signal will clear to a less restrictive aspect when the train passes the magnet for the junction signal. 